Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how I made this. This is my Batman cowl from the new The Batman starring Robert Pattinson. So I'm very happy with how this came out. And so in this video I made the cowl and of course the collar. And everything just looks really good and I'm really happy with how it turned out. But without any further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay guys, so right here we have all the pieces to make up. Basically everything but the top section of the helmet so what we're going to start with is all the pieces in the front so the nose and all the eye pieces so let's go okay guys now that i have all the pieces just that i need to make the front area so basically the nose and then the start of the eyebrows so what i'm doing i'm gluing together those three main pieces for the nose now I'm building off of those, so you see the other pieces just being glued on. Then it's being tacked to the supports, just to make sure everything has the nice form-fitting shape that it has hey guys, to be. So this is what the start of the cow is looking like. So now it's time to work on the side pieces. So we have just these two pieces that are going to go together and make the shape. So let's start gluing everything together. Okay, guys. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to be gluing all those little darts close so what darts are they're just triangle cuts that are folded together to give the cardboard more um gives it easier ways to curve so after those are glued on then i glue on the lower cheek area and then i glue on the upper cheek area which is the part with all okay, the darts guys, so now that we have the sides all complete it's time to fill in the front so i just made a new piece right here so i really am not happy with how this is now i'm going to build up the eyebrows with a separate piece so let's get right into it so this piece is the same as the cheeks just glue together the darts and then glue it right on to the top so you see i'm trimming everything that needs to be trimmed then i am gluing it down here and this is one of the main parts for the build and then here i am working on a new template for the eyebrows and cutting them out and i did a new method for the eyebrows instead of okay, the guys, old one. so we have basically the entire front of the mask done now it's time to work on the sides. So the sides are basically just the two ear pieces. So what they, what happens, this piece gets folded in, they get glued down, then this piece is put in between to close the gap in the back. So once that is done, we can start working on the top. But right now, let's glue the rest of these three pieces down. Hey guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do for the ears is glue together the darts. Then I'm going to trace the shape of where it's going to connect so everything is seamless. And then I glue it on. And then here you see, just gluing together the darts to take a while because they have you have to hold them while they cool. Then here I'm tracing it out. Then I glue them down. Then I do the same thing on the other side. Then I glue together that back strip that connects both of these pieces together. And that is the main Okay, shape. guys. So we have the back all done. And now I just added these two, three strips, actually. To act as a cage and i'm going to cut some thin pieces out and then alternate over over and over to create a bunch of little l's so that's what we're going to do so let's go so this is the easiest method i found so i just cut out little strips then i alternate sideways and then straight up and down sideways straight up and down until i get all the way to the top and then you just trim all the areas down to make sure everything fits seamlessly together so you see I'm trimming, and then that is what okay, I do guys, for the so we have one side. of the pieces done. Now we have to do the other, so I will be right back. Okay, guys, so we have the front all done. Now it's time to fill in the back, so let's go. Okay, guys, so what I'm doing, I'm gluing together one main plate on the back. Then I'm going to be gluing what I did for the top, so straight up and down, just straight up and down all the way across the sides as you see right there and then i did one angular just to get that little gap closed in and then here i'm gluing together all the pieces then you do the same thing on the other side okay guys so the back is all done and we finished one of the ears and it's looking pretty good so now we have to work on the other ear so we have the front and we have the back of the ear so now we just have to glue them on and it's really easy so let's go so the back of the ears are really simple you just glue them down to each other and then that is it just for the ears you glue them down and then you make sure to glue them to the base of the cowl as well not just that ear shape 
So here you see, I'm gluing it down, making sure everything lines up. Then I strengthen the outside just to make sure everything holds its shape. Okay guys, so now we have the main part of the cowl all done. Now it's time to work on the different sections. So I have this picture printed out. So what I'm gonna work on is this um, ribbed piece right here. And then all the rest of this is gonna be made out of foam, but that's gonna come later. And after that, we're gonna make this piece and then that piece. So let's focus on this ribbed piece right there. So for that, I have a bunch of templates right here. I think it's a total of six pieces. So we just have to simply glue everything all together. So let's go. So this piece, I'm just gluing together all the pieces, overlapping all of them. And then that is it for okay, this. Guys, so now we have the neck guard done. It's time to work on the back part of the neck guard. So this piece is right around here. And then this piece goes around. This is basically just one of the collar pieces. So this is one of the pieces all done. So then this piece is gonna be glued there. And then this one here. And then this one below that one. So let's start gluing everything together. Let's go. Same as the other piece, I am just gluing the other pieces down and make sure everything fits together just like it should be. Okay guys, so what I did, I decided to cut off the ends. So now it's just the front part. And that's really the only thing you see in the movie. But now it's time to work on the part that this will be attached to, and that is the collar. So that collar is this piece here, and this is the base for it right here. And then where are the pieces? These pieces are gonna be attached here, and they're gonna be what protect his neck. So let's get work on the collar. Okay guys, so what I'm doing, I'm gluing down the curves to each and each side of the collar piece. Then when that is done, I meet both of them together with just one big piece of cardboard in the back. So here I'm gluing it down just to make sure all the curves are lining up. Then I do the same thing on the other side. And then I do the back plate with just one long straight piece of cardboard. Okay, guys, with the collar done. Everything is all done and now it's time to resin. So these are all the cardboard parts. Everything else will be made out of foam. But now let's get to resining the helmet. Okay guys, it's time to resin all the pieces we have. So what resin is, it's a one-to-one -one mixture that when you mix them together and then you paint them or brush them on top of the cardboard, it gets hard. So what I recommend doing is doing three layers of for the main cowl and three layers for the collar, and then one or two for the neck guards. So then when this is done, it has to dry. Before I do the next layer, I usually do them each day. So one day, let it dry, then do the next day, let it dry, then do it the next day. And then it will change color so it gets to a, the regular cardboard to a dark Okay guys, brown. so all the resin on the main part of the helmet is all done. Now it's time to work on the bottom part. So the first we're gonna do is the bottom back. So I have this piece of foam. So we're gonna glue it down underneath, so let's go. Okay guys, so what you should do for this piece is start in the middle, glue it down, let it cool, and then you work from the middle out. So middle out, so you see here, hot glue gun, gluing a line across, and then you just glue it to the top, one side at a time, going from the middle outside. Okay guys, so we have the back done. Now it's time to finish up the front. So we have these three pieces here. So basically this piece is going to be glued in there, one on each side, and then this piece is going to be glued on one side, then Velcro shut on the other side. So let's get right into finishing the main part of the cowl. Okay guys, so I'm gluing the pieces down. So what these are, these make the front of the mask. So it didn't work for mine, which I will explain in one minute but you glue them down and then you glue foam to the back side of the cardboard piece. Then you glue it down and then you add Velcro on the cardboard side. You see the big tab there. Just use some Velcro, put it on, and that's how it would have worked. Okay guys, so it's all done, but it's a little too big. So right now what I have to do, I have to go down and do some surgery 
but I'm going to do that off camera because I don't know how long or how complicated it's going to be. So I will be right back. Okay, guys, so I was able to fix it, but I had to get rid of one of the pieces. So this neck piece here, I'm not going to use. Even though it's not accurate to the movies now, it is a lot more comfortable and I can wear it during a con. So now what I'm going to have to do is I have to build up the muscle parts on the back of the mask. So you can't see it on any of these. But there's like little muscle sections. I'll see if I can get a good picture. But what we're going to do is we're going to build up the back with those muscle details. So let's go. Okay, guys, so I'm gluing the pieces down right here. You see, just starting and then gluing them down. And then I trim all of the excess off. So I do that all around the back of the foam side. So you see, gluing all the way around. And that is it for the main construction of the cowl. And now it's time to give it the finish. Okay guys, so here are some of the pieces I'm starting out with the leather. What this is going to make up is all the nose pieces, and then going to cover up this piece here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to attach all these, then make more templates, attach those, then more and more and more. So let's get to attaching these to the cowl. Let's go. So when I made the templates for the leather, I added some extra room so it can be folded so everything just looks a lot more clean. So you see, I fold it up underneath in one second. You see right there, I fold everything underneath, and that's how it gets very clean. So you want to do that. Make sure you leave some extra material on, and then I make some more templates, then I glue them on. These are for the little lower cheek area. Then I do the upper cheek area right here, still gluing down that, because it takes a while. You have to take your time for this. Otherwise, it won't look good. I, may, I rushed a little, couldn't have taken more time. So I recommend taking more time than I did. So just gluing everything down. And this, okay, guys, so the cowl is almost crucial. done, but I'm quickly going to show you how I did the templates. So what I do, I put the blue masking tape down. Then I'm going to cover it with regular duct tape. So let's do that. Okay, guys, so I taped all over it. Then I took it off of that mask. And then I cut a slit down. And then I put it on the paper. Now I'm going to cut it out with scissors and then transfer it onto the vinyl. So let's go. Okay, guys, so I have the piece cut out of vinyl. Now it's time to just glue it right on top. Let's go. Okay, guys, so the cowl is all done. Now we have to get on adding the finishing touches to each thing. So what I have here is the collar and what we're going to do. We're going to use some puffy paint. What I did, I mixed some white and black together. And how I did that, you just unscrew the top pop this off, pour some of the black in, and then just mix it up with a toothpick or a bamboo skewer. And I also shake it up before I use it just to make sure everything is perfectly mixed. So now what we're gonna do, these are some of my test ones I just did with the regular white and black. And then these are some of the things to test out the gray, so that's what it looks like at the end. So now we're gonna add the gray all onto the collar and then I'm gonna do the part of the collar, not the collar, the cowl all off camera. So let's get right to it. So what I'm doing here, taking the puffy paint and then just going all across where the stitches are. You do wanna take your time on this, have a very steady hand. Maybe do it in little increments, do like a bunch of stitching. Do the stitching on one side and then leave it to dry the other side and leave it to dry, that's what I did. I took plenty of breaks during this process just to make sure my hand wouldn't cramp so I can get as straight lines as possible. It's very hard though, so you do have to take your time on this. And with the stitching all done, it's time to do the final reveal. was easy but wrapping the leather and then all of the stitching was very hard but the next video that will be coming out will not be with the batman it will be with tech and then it'll be the batman because i'm planning on wearing this to new york comic con i was just going to redo the cowl but the entire armor doesn't look good so so you don't miss it make sure you subscribe and leave a like so it'll notify you when the next video comes out but 
until I see you then, I'm signing off and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.